Today we're making chorizo pizza. Starting to smell good. You want it on medium low, by the way. Don't wash it, don't wash it. Let it do its thing. And the other nap to say about nine to 10 minutes. I say 20, 25. Just let it do its thing. Don't cook it on too low because it won't ever get done or cooked the right way. Don't cook it too high or you will bone it and wash it. Don't wash it. Just let it do its thing. Smells good. Once in a while, still up. Make sure you have some napkins for the splash so. Here's a pet book. And I got some left offers for some nachos later tonight. Work out perfectly. You don't want to overfill it. And you want to make sure the cheese is covering it. Because we are working with grease. Right? With some grease. I'm not saying that would cause a fire. But yeah. Also to prevent the pizza sauce from getting burnt. Put some cheese on top, then chorizo, then cheese, then this is optional. You don't have to, but onions, um, much olive cheese, I cut it up, and jalapenos. And, um, uh, I forgot what they call it, so Yeah. You you put this at the end after cooking, you know. This what it looks like while it's cooking. Looks good, don't it? Looks good. <clears throat> Bite test. This is really good, but the toppings and the cheese is flying off. So you might need a spoon. Some of it you're gonna eat on a pizza, some of it I guess you're gonna pick up with a spoon. I need a, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I need a haircut. But this pizza is good. The cheese got a nice pull to it. The edge with a nice crisp taste to it. Nice and savory. 
spicy. Yeah, good lunch.